Oh no, I woke up this morning with a wrist drop. I couldn't bring my wrist up. I could not bring it up. I just woke up and I had a wrist drop. What do I do? Well, this is called a Saturday night palsy. This was described about a hundred years ago. A man was drunk and fell asleep on a park bench with his arm rested on the park bench, his head on his arm, and he woke up with a wrist drop and he got better and got well. Most of the time this will get well. It's a pressure of the radial nerve in the humerus, what we call the spiral groove. If you look at this picture, the radial nerve wraps around the spiral groove of the humerus. And it's a physiological block of this nerve. It's not cut. It's a very tough nerve. And most of the time in two to four months, it will come back. Um, what do we do for it? You know, no one really knows what we should do. But if you come see me the first day, I'm going to blast you with steroids. They use a supportive care. We also send you to physical therapy to put a dynamic splint on it if you need it. To sort of avoid rigorous use of the arm. But, you know, just move your arm with the other hand and keep it moving. Um, if we don't use steroids, anti-inflammatories can help with the pain. But supportive care works, and this goes away. Um, I think in my career, I've seen one person who slept on their arm but didn't come back to normal. So it's usually two to four months, um, and it just get, comes completely back to normal. So we also call this, call this a honeymoon palsy. I've seen people come back the first night they slept together. And you know, oh my gosh, when you've been married for a while, you just don't waller on each other anymore. But oh, when you're in love, you're laying on each other, and the woman lays on his arm, and he wakes up with a wrist drop, and it's just terrifying. You imagine your wedding night, wake up, and your husband can't move his hand, just freaking out like crazy. So that's a Saturday night palsy. I'm Dr. Caudle Miller, the brain doctor. Like, comment, subscribe. More later.